About 10 million people in Kenya are food insecure, with majority living on food relief. Over reliance on maize, the staple food is a major factor in all this. Eaters of maize now is a higher definitely in the country than eaters of rice. If you look at the figures, the consumption of maize are very, of course, they are very high. Recent reports released by the Ministry of Agriculture indicate that maize production has dropped tremendously by up to 45 percent this year. This poses a big threat to food security. Rice is the third staple food in Kenya after maize and wheat. The consumption of rice is on a rise at a rate of 12 percent every year. While these figures are encouraging, the production of rice still faces a myriad of challenges. Concern is rife that while the country produces 110,000 metric tons of rice each year, rice consumption stands at 300,000 tons. This deficit forces the country to spend at least 7 billion Kenya shillings annually on rice importation. This and other factors motivated the National Irrigation Board to introduce SRI, System for Rice Intensification and Moya Irrigation Scheme, in the year 2009. The technology was innovated first time in Madagascar. Yes, then it was uh, okay, taken up by other countries, but I think in Kenya we are the second most uh, the second, I think, in adopting proper SRI technology. Yes. SRI, we first introduced SRI in the year 2009, and uh, I started actually as the first farmer. And uh, from 2009, now we have uh, over, over two to 3,000 farmers doing it now. 80% of the rice consumed in the country is grown in Mwea. SRI, or System for Rice Intensification, is a six-step farming method that promises a food-secure nation and offers farmers a chance to increase rice production, earn higher incomes, save water, and ultimately reduce the national import bill. Moses Karedi is one of the earliest adapters of SRI way of farming. He explains that SRI requires that a farmer transplants seedlings that are between 10 and 12 days old instead of the traditional three to four weeks. On SRI, we are advising them to be transplanting one. While traditionally 10 or more seedlings will be transplanted per hill, SRI advocates for use of one seedling, thereby saving the farmer about 80% the cost of seeds. <laughs> Growing rice in line and wide spacing is another method encouraged by SRI to give roots and leaves more space for growth. Unlike traditional rice growing methods, SRI requires less water and saves between 25 to 50 percent of water used in irrigation. Weeding and soil aeration is another SRI step done by a simple mechanical hand weeder. Moses Karidi, burdened by the cost of imported industrial weeders, saw an opportunity to create one that was not only fit for the Kenyan soil, but also affordable to the small-scale farmers of Moya. This weeder, Mr. Karidi, has come to the land of the land of the land of the land. And I have been working on my life and I have been working on my land. I have been working on my land and I have been working on my land. Ya piri tukaunda tena, ikaenda, ikafanya kazi, lakini haikuwa, haikuwa inamaliza kufanya kazi vizuri. Inakuwa inashika yo mchanga. Sasa tukaendelea kuproduce zingine, tukua tuna change, design, tuna ata fruit, tuna change. The invention of the weeder was necessitated by a need, and in the year 2010, rice farmers tested and endorsed it during a field day at the Moya Irrigation Scheme. Sasa hii, tunaita tinga tinga kunye mchere. Na ni mzuri, mimi ni kiona kuna kazi raisi kusida nini. Yani, inafanya kazi raisi kusida nini, mikono. Tukieda sisi watu wawiri, tunaita ika moja, siku biri. 
So far, system for rice intensification in Kenya has seen rice yields increase by up to 8.5 tons per hectare, compared to about 6 tons per hectare since its introduction. On the amount of the pound is 200,000, uh, compared to the other conoid, which is 2,500. My farmer, all the farmers can afford the conoid, which, is, which costs 2,500, because the, other one, the powder is very expensive. If mass produced, the cost of the weeder is likely to drop considerably. The sixth and final step encouraged by SRI is a compost application. SRI encourages the use of as much organic matter as is possible on the soil. Before SRI, rice husks posed a big threat to the environment. Recently, the farmers discovered that the husks, when burnt in a controlled way, gave the best organic manure. <laughs> Na kwa hivyo, ukipeleka kwa shamba, the soil texture inakuwa very light. Such that watu wanapopalilia mpunga wako, hawatumi pesa nyingi. Kwa mfano, hapo mwazo mwazo, kabla siku wanatumia the biomass, nilikuwa natumia over 10 to 12,000 kupalilia mchere. Na sasa siku hizi nipuanza kutumia hii, natumia tu only 2,000 to 2,500. Like with many new innovations, SRI is facing resistance from farmers in Mwea and other rice growing areas. Rice farmers accustomed to traditional farming methods are still holding back, even as their peers increasingly adopt the SRI way of farming. Mm. Naidi Iyo mea tangu ni pande kwa nasari ni wiki moja na ni mwesi moja na wiki moja. Na yanyewe iko na ime, metoa nini? <laughs> Ena adhuna. Yani imeongesa nini plant zingine. Na wale tulipa, tuli, tuliweka na iso nini mchere kwa nasari. Wale wanapanda hii ya hili ya gaine ingine ya kawainda. Sasa wamepanda wakati huu ni, ni memalisa tu one week. Ama wiki mbili. Sasa mi naona kwa upande wangu ni kombele. The, the, the crop that we have planted now is having a lot of SRI. Which means that, which, which means that we are expecting uh, a better quality and a very heavy rice because it is heavier than the other brands. So we are keeping on encouraging them to use that method because one, it is more productive than the other one. Where a farmer was uh, harvesting about 20 bags, in this one, he harvests about 27. Where he was uh, um, harvesting about 25, visit, uh, uh, harvest about 32. Where about for that, about 40. It is almost four years since SRI was introduced in Mwea, and more than half of the 3,500 rice-growing farmers have embraced this new farming method, thereby raising rice yields by at least 30%. Mwea irrigation scheme has room for expansion, and thus promises high yields to make up for the rice deficit in the country. As Kenya strives to be a food-secure nation, it is time not only to embrace new farming methods, but also to explore rice as a potentially reliable step of forward. A healthy nation will lead to improved production and development.